Hi, my name is DM Pulley. I'm an author, and today I'm going to be working with the Cleveland Public Library to tell you a little story from one of my favorite books, A Light in the Attic by Shel Silverstein. Shel Silverstein and his publisher Harper Collins have given us permission to read a few poems. And I don't know about you, but these poems are a little different than some of the other ones you might have heard about. The first poem, A Light in the Attic, that the book is titled for. A light in the attic. There's a light on in the attic. Though the house is dark and shuttered, I can see a flickering flutter, and I know what it's about. There's a light on in the attic. I can see it from the outside, and I know you're on the inside looking out. One of my favorite things in school was when my kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Maxson, would read us from Shel Silverstein's poems. Like this one, messy room. Whose ever room this is should be ashamed. His underwear is hanging on the lamp. His raincoat is there in the overstuffed chair and the chair is becoming quite mucky and damp. His workbook is wedged in the window. His sweater's been thrown to the floor. His scarf and one ski are beneath the TV and his pants have been carelessly hung on the door. His books are all jammed in the closet. His vest has been left in the hall. A lizard named Ed is asleep in his bed and his smelly old stock has been stuck to the wall. Whoever's room this is should be ashamed. Donald or Robert or Willie or, huh? You say this is mine? Oh dear, I knew it looked familiar. I'm actually reading to you from my attic, which I thought would be appropriate, reading attic stories. Let's see, the next one marked out. I'm losing it. Hold on a minute. Nobody. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares. Nobody picks me peaches and pears. Nobody offers me candy and Cokes. Nobody listens and laughs at my jokes. Nobody helps when I get in a fight. Nobody does all my homework at night. Nobody misses me. Nobody cries. Nobody thinks I'm a wonderful guy. So if you ask me who's my best friend in a whiz, I'll stand up and tell you that nobody is. But yesterday night I got quite a scare. I woke up and nobody just wasn't there. I called out and reached for nobody's hand in the darkness where nobody usually stands. Then I poked through the house in each cranny and nook, but I found somebody each place that I looked. I searched till I'm tired and now with the dawn, there's no doubt about it, nobody's gone. I love that idea of a, of a missing imaginary friend. This one's a little spooky, and I like spooky stories. I write mysteries and thrillers. Skin Stealer. This evening I, I unzipped my skin and carefully unscrewed my head, exactly as I always do when I prepare myself for bed. And while I slept, a cuckoo came as naked as could be, and put on this skin and screwed on the head that once belonged to me. Now wearing my feet, in a most uh, he runs through the street in a most disgraceful way, doing things and saying things I'd never do or say, tickling the children and kicking the men and dancing the ladies away. So if he makes your bright eyes cry or makes your poor head spin, that scoundrel you see is not really me, it's the cuckoo who's wearing my skin. I don't know where Shel Silverstein comes up with these fantastic ideas, but I've always loved everything he's written. The last one I'm gonna share with you is a small poem called The Bridge. This bridge will only take you halfway there to those mysterious lands you long to see through gypsy camps and swirling Arab fairs and moonlit woods where unicorns run free. So come and walk a while with me and share the twisting trails and wondrous worlds I've known. But this bridge will only take you halfway there. The last few steps you have to take alone. So I'd like to thank the Cleveland Public Library for sponsoring these author readings, along with Shel Silverstein and Harper, HarperCollins books. And I hope that you and your family are staying safe and well. Keep reading. Thanks.